Hello, my name is Gabriel Silas, and I live in Fairbanks, Alaska. At the beginning of my day, I just got done with uh, open gym for basketball, and I was heading to my girlfriend's house, and she lives on Farmer's Loop. And as I was heading up the road, I saw this lady on the side of the road, and she looked like she was in shock. And so I parked my car on the side of the road, and then I noticed that there was a head-on collision. But I had just gotten there after the crash had happened, and I saw that the car was like starting to light on fire. And so I immediately, like it was a fl flight or fight like uh, type of moment and my body chose fight. And so I ran over to the um, truck and just hopped in the back of the truck and like opened the back window. And there was like five people in the back in, in the truck and the front of it was smashed and it, it was starting to ignite on fire. And so um, we, I immediately knew that we had to get the car open. And so as I was pulling people out of the car, more people started to come and help. And we got two people out until the car started really like catching fire. And we got all the people out from the back of the um, car, but the front is where we really had trouble because the doors were jammed, like really jammed. We had to pry the doors, doors open with just like pure brute force. We eventually got the door open and we pulled the lady in the driver's seat out for us. Then there was a um, grandmother in the front passenger seat and we couldn't really get that door open and the car was getting like really hot in there and we could hear it. She was telling us that it was getting really hot. Um, I put it into less graphic detail than it, than it actually was. We pulled the door open and we eventually got her out. And then I told everyone that we have to move them away from the car. So we started picking them up and moving them away from the car one by one because the car was about to explode. And so then after that, I went to the other car to um, check on the other lady. But unfortunately, it, it was clear to see that she had passed away. I feel like if I wouldn't have stepped in this in that day, uh, the outcome would have been a lot worse.